Hello, Ming. Do you realize who you're messing with here, man? This is an unhinged man on a mission to form the Mongol Empire by 1550. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Chagatai. Chagatai is a nation located in this region i don't know what it's called we are a horde nation sunni by the way we also start off with a vassal over here the nation of yarkand which is pretty similarly sized to us we are part of the eastern hordes as i like to call them and chagatai does have some decent national ideas plus 20 percent calf combat minus 25 percent ccr some morale some diplo annex cost all around a good idea set not as good as other hordes i'm gonna be honest i've actually never played as chagatai and i do think this is the first horde coordination in A to Z that we've ever played so it definitely should be very very fun. But what do we do as Chagatai? Well there is a new achievement in U4 called Khan which was added in Origins I think which requires us to form the Mongol Empire before the age of absolutism before the year 1600 and because of the time limits of the video and because of how long I play in these videos I'm gonna actually take that down to 1550. So we're gonna try and form the Mongol Empire by 15 50 maybe we'll keep going until 1600 if we can't do it so that's the challenge for today's video and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as chagatai all right all right here we are as chagatai like i said we do start off with yark and over here our vassal 14k troops that are attritioning and to form the mongol empire of course as you all know we need to own a massive amount of provinces all all around here all over Asia but we might even form Yuan before we do that of course we do need to beat up Ming and uh, full annex them so we don't become the Emperor of China so let me start off by doing some estate stuff taking some decisions and deciding on who to attack first like I said I've never played as Chagatai all right all right estate stuff done I did give out a privilege which I didn't want to but hey who cares I haven't added any rivals just yet so they don't ally each other and let's see if we can get any allies ourselves and I can't ally any of the hordes which is pretty unfortunate maybe I could link up with Kazan here not sure all right let's get John Poor as a ally apparently and uh who do I attack here first man do I go for Oirat first or Uzbek first they're both stronger nations than us especially Oirat with their subject Mongolia so uh I really don't know but maybe we can start off by recruiting some more uh regiments and then going to war they will get allies in the meantime though so let's see we aren't making a lot of money at the start as well either way I'm gonna hire three advisors just because we're a horde so let's get the prestige guy over here uh I'm actually gonna get the improved relations guy and uh, a discipline guy would be pretty nice as well. So we got 10 guys here, four guys here. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's get four more cavalry regiments. Or maybe even six more. Who cares, am I right? Let's give the ruler military command. He's actually pretty good. I like that. And uh, yeah, let's wait around a little bit. And I'll start improving with Yarkand. All right, army has been built up. And Uzbek has allied uh, Kazan and the Great Horde, which is super, super unfortunate. I did kind of want to fight them first to expand into Europe quicker. But hey, uh, I guess we need to get stronger before we do that. So we are going to be declaring on Oirat instead instead and i'm gonna try and snake over to the jurchen tribes over here we do need land from korchen so let's declare on Oirat right, right here i think their most expensive province is karakorum so let's declare for that all right should be easy enough i think i think Shah Rukh did just die yeah he did so uh maybe we can take advantage of that by fighting transoxiana or something this war is so much harder than i thought it would be boys i'm uh i'm suffering here to say the least it's been six years man and i only have 36 percent war score yes that does prove i'm terrible at micromanagement how did you know? I just realized we don't even have feudalism, man. What is this? <laughs> Jesus. What's my tag, dude? Three. Okay, okay. At least I'm not suffering in that regard. All right, man. I got a dip from here, dude. I got these guys that are about to get their capital. I got separatists galore in my lands. So let's just do something like this. This is such a stupid war, man. I thought I was going to have fun. But no, it was actually pain. Maybe I should skip Chagatai, huh? All right, 10 years have passed. I am suffering quite a lot, but at least we can start annexing Yarkand over here and we'll get a gold mine from that because they do have a gold mine in this province right here. Do I have a Diplo rep guy? No, it's gonna take quite a while, isn't it? Actually, what I just noticed is that Oirat is allied to uh, Karadel over here. So if I fight them, and by the way, I did become a Ming tributary so I can fight these guys over here. Bank of China, I know, yada yada. Listen, I'm not as powerful as Oirat, right? So I'm gonna fight Karadel over here and uh, reset my truce with Oirat, which is quite long. We'll try and show it. So yeah, man, let's do that, huh? 
And just like that, we can kick out Oirat of this war. Now, if I take some money from them, the truce is until 1462. And uh, if I don't take anything, let's see, 1461. Eh, I think I will take money. I do need it. So there we go. Oirat's out easy hey tier 2 cover of form time it is time to martial society plus 20 percent national manpower i love it and it's pretty nice being a ming tributary because they do beat up my rebels so thanks ming and that's these dudes done as well and we do need to continue our conquests we are a horde Horde unity is going down we are going broke so it's time to fight Korshin and take all of their provinces at least i think i can not sure so yeah let's declare for the capital right here and do it since I am overflowing with uh, mill points because I don't have feudalism yet, let's uh, roll for three generals right here so I can actually slacken and uh, then we'll fire some of the useless ones like uh, this guy. Uh, this guy too. I'll keep this shocking guy though. Oh, I am actually over. So uh, bye bye shocking guy. Yes, I know that was the least optimal general to fire. Do I care? Of course not. And uh, that's actually a super easy war right there, man. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it with Korshin. Boom, full annex Korshin. Only the Oirat war was really painful. And uh, the ones with uh, Uzbek are going to be as painful, if not even more painful. But at least we can bask in the glory of beating up weaker nations and uh, snaking around. All right, I devved a couple of times here to get feudalism. And I took out two loans, which means now we can embrace feudalism. Excellent. I wonder if I could sell it to anyone that's as poor as me. Ah, uh, only to my subject, I guess. No time to slow down. Let's pop off another war versus Kam right here. The main reason being they're allied to Guge, which has a gold mine. So yeah, we're gonna have two gold mines. That should be uh, pretty good right there. And there we go, man. War is pretty much down over here. I'll full annex Kam and I'll take these two provinces from Guge, basically giving me their capital and gold mine. So yeah, that's that, baby. You know what it is. Feels good, man. We're growing. I still feel really poor, but at least I don't think we're suffering with manpower anymore. I really only suffered in that Oirat war, like I said earlier. So yeah, now I think it's time to chill for like a year and then fight Oirat. A big problem we are gonna have is the fact that we're Sunni, man. I really wish we were Tengri right here. All this religious disunity is really causing us to suffer, and uh, there's nothing I can do. I am getting some Tengri zealots because I did send a missionary to my capital, which is Tengri, so I am gonna try and provoke these guys. Maybe we can accept the mans, but I don't think we'll be able to because let's take a look at the charts. Yeah, man, we're not Tengri enough. We're actually a uh, Vajrayana. <laughs> I did just take admin tech and we can take our first idea group here. I'm thinking, man, Diplo admin, that's gotta be it for the CCR and the province war score cost. Sure, if this was a normal game, maybe even humanist would be useful, but uh, I think I am gonna open up with Diplo. And there we go. We've integrated Yarkon. That's awesome. We can state these lands over here. And we did get another gold mine. Additionally, I can also core this one over here as well. And uh, I did take Diplo, I know. But uh, yeah, let's activate Encourage Development here and bump Kuka up to 10. So Urat is losing to uh, Uzbek right now. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for that and then fight them. I don't know. So Uzbek did end their war versus Urat. They took some provinces over here. Let's see if we can tell. Yeah, it's these provinces right here. Not too bad, honestly. They didn't shrink them too much. And uh, I think that's my cue to declare on them myself, boys. So let's declare on Urat once again for the same province for Karakorum. And uh, yeah, I think I'm much stronger now. This will be easy. Famous last words, am I right? <laughs> no, I was wrong. This war is painful too. You know, I uh, I love playing massive countries when in fact we have like uh, 290 dev, about as much as uh, Poland here, but we take up half the world. It's super, super fun. Yeah, and I think I'll peace out for this right here. Thank you. We did get some sort of monument here, Erdene Zoo, which I can't be bothered to read through this long list of requirements, so I'm not even gonna find out if we can use it. Well, yes, I am debbing a glacier. <laughs> Come on, man. It's, it's, it costs 95 to bump it up once, here, and we're only at 5 dev, dude, plus 50% local development cost. We're building New York City on top of Mount Everest, baby. You know what it is. So, <laughs> yes, I'm at war with Uzbek. How could you tell? Yes, it was an accidental war. But I did want to declare because Uzbek are fighting Muscovy right now in the Muscovite conquest of some great horde stuff. And of course, I was just checking out the declare war screen and uh, I pressed C. Yes, it does happen too often, man. I I'm going to have to start playing with mouse only. I don't know what else to say. Of course, this is A to Z. There'll be no alt F4 in here. Uh, but yeah, the great horde isn't in this war. It's gonna be really difficult they do have way more troops than me i'm gonna try and get through uzbek to go to kazan peace them out and then uh hopefully we can do something with uzbek here i'm not too confident 
but we could try. Now, why would Ming insult me? Actually, a good thing going for us here is that we do have way better Miltech than Kazan and Uzbek. They're both at tech 5. I'm at tech 6. So that gives us a huge advantage right there. There's no battle we can lose right here, boys. That's pretty good. And actually, just like that, we can knock Kazan out. I, I don't know why I was so scared. I mean, I guess it would have been different if the Great Horde was involved as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take some money from Kazan here. What did I even declare for here, man? Agan, what's... Where is that province? I guess it was the first on the list, so that's why I declared... Ah, yes, of course. This 3-dev, 5% war score cost province was my war goal. Of course. <laughs> and actually, super easy war, man. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know why I was scared of Uzbek. But either way, let's see what we can take from them. Maybe once again, surround them so no one else can fight them. Something like this. And then I'll just take some more provinces over here like that. Perfect. And there we go, man. Uzbek has been beaten up. And with this, we can also fight Kazan and the Great Horde too. I do have a truce with Kazan. Only five years, not bad. And the Great Horde is only allied to Dulkadir. So once Muscovy gobbles them up, we can go and fight them. And it's time to pounce right on the Great Horde that were with Muscovy and that I can't tell what Muscovy took. I guess it's something like this. So let's declare on the Great Horde. Uh, I'll declare for Sarai right here. I know that's a pretty expensive province. So let's uh, let's go, baby. Tier 3, Gov Reform time. Let's go for Religious Society. I need that Religious Unity bad. Super easy dub versus the Great Horde, man. I guess only the first war is hard as Shagatai. I am suffering a lot to Rebels right now. Thanks, Ming, by the way. They only fight my Rebels when I'm at war, strangely enough. So uh, I think I'll stay in this war until Ming beats up these guys over here and then I'll peace out. Uh, yeah, man, it's still super painful as a horde. I'm not really a horde enjoyer. I'm more of a, you know, tall a role playing enjoyer. But hey, what are you going to do? It has to be done. And yeah, I think it's time to dip. So let's take uh, everything that we can from the great horde here, man. Uh, something like that, maybe. The tribes won, dude. Time to move along with our wars, this time versus Kazan. And I feel like it's the same situation as with the Uzbek war. We're just gonna white piece these guys and then go beat up Kazan. I do have a royal marriage with them, but I do think they are the best nation to declare on. So let's declare for uh, their gold mine right here. It's taking me so long to record this, dude, because of all the micro with carpet sieging. Yeah. Pain. Real physical pain. And uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. Goodbye, Kazan. Third gold mine racked up. You know what it is, baby. That was close. I almost went over 100. I can't be bothered to fight that many rebels, dude. I'm already fighting so much. All right, so truce with Ura and Mongolia is up. Funnily enough, Mongolia is still a Urad vassal. So I'll actually declare on them directly or Shilingol, of course, a very important province that we do want to own. And I think after this, I'll probably fight Ming since they are about to pass their second reform. So let's just declare on Mongolia right here real quick and we can also take our second idea group which will be admin war is done and i'll pull annex mongolia excellent we're growing pretty rapidly here boys no more manpower problems by the way we got loads of modifiers so that's definitely not a problem anymore i could probably activate another big army just like that or well maybe not but we are still kind of suffering with money of course i am selling titles and seizing land all the time and getting loans paying them off raising you know what it is so ming did just pass their second reform in which case it is time to cancel my tributary with them uh, i am pretty big right now 613 dev so they should get the unguarded nomadic frontier disaster uh and i did that just as they were beating up my rebels maybe i should have waited a month hey there we go the ming empire's nomadic fears we need but wait for their collapse uh perfect big rebel problems boys big rebel problems i swear i've rejected this like 50 times and while i'm bogged down with this stupid stuff ming's mandate is sticking up not good for me all right boys it's time to end the ming dynasty i am a miltech ahead of them the nomadic frontier disaster is ticking just like the pop-up we got it hasn't fired yet but it will speed up once we declare on them so let's declare on ming here for uh try conquest baby you know what it is i have seven cannons and i will bombard beijing and apparently i need eight cannons to do so <laughs> and there we go the disaster did fire for them i uh i did manage to occupy beijing but they did beat me up so now i'm coming back to beat them up but at least the disaster is closer to firing and there we go the disaster fired for them they lose two stab lose mandate they did just gain back beijing and i am massively occupied by them but i'm still feeling good about this war i'm beating up ming but i am about to take massive l's from rebels over here so we do need to peace out ming man i did manage to occupy some of their northern forts over here i got about like three or four i think it's actually more than four let's see one two three i got five forts over here i did beat up a lot of their armies man look at how much people they have lost and uh i gotta peace out here man of course we are gonna take all their money i'm gonna take beijing and this province over here and uh, i think we need some more to form yuan yeah i guess it's these three provinces right there so can i take these three i can and can i take something else maybe another another fort i uh actually can't so uh yeah 
that's gonna be it in this first war versus Ming. Uh, now I need to try and not collapse the rebels. So let's deal with those guys. Uh, the past half an hour, I've I've literally been just fighting rebels. Just rebels. That's it, dude. They, they make me, man, they make me so angry, dude. These rebels, it's impossible, man. It's so stupid that we're Sunni and not Tengri. We're suffering from so much religious disunity, so much unrest, dude. They keep popping up. I know I just provoked them, but that's just because I'm salty. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm salty? Pain! Pain. All right, bro, I gotta take a break here, man. Well, fighting all these rebels, literally all of my truces have expired. So let's, uh, let's go finish off what we're at here. And Orad is done as well. There we go. Another nation full annexed. I love it. No, I don't. Did these idiots really warn me? Ming, what? You're done, man. <laughs> Why did you warn me? You're done. You have no power here. What's this 2k down here? Get out of here. All right, all right. Enough uh, molding. Let's uh, let's lift ourselves up a little bit by fighting uh, Uzbek. Let's declare for, I don't know, literally whatever. I don't care anymore. Now the Ottomans warned me too? What? Guys, I'm not that weak. I, I don't think I'm that weak, man. Come on. I'm the number four great power. All right, this is done. Let's take uh, as much as we can from Uzbek here. Uh, I don't really care what I'm taking. We just want to take as much as we can, really. And that's uh, that's about as much as we can, apparently. Again, with the separatists. We got nice CCR, by the way. Let's take a look at what it is right now. Core creation cost. It's not that nice, I guess. <laughs> it's just all poor provinces. I wonder why Ming didn't fully blow up the worst Shun and these guys down south. Like, what's up with that? I can't. I can't with these rebels, man. I can't with these rebels. This is... Guys, guys, please. Do you guys enjoy watching me suffer, man? This is not enjoyable at all. I don't want to fight rebels all the time, man. Please, just, just pop out. Dude, I'm so tempted to just accept all of their demands and collapse this game, bro. Oh, I, I wonder what this guy here is doing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Funny little fella right there. Funny little fella for sure. I... No, <laughs> I just... I just lost this to Korchin Separatist, man. I don't know if it was on camera in the previous clip that you guys just saw, but I, I just lost this to Korchin Separatist, dude. Oh my god. Great, now we got internal conflicts too. You know, maybe the goal of this uh, challenge should be try not to die to rebels instead of forming the Mongol Empire. How about that? I know some of you guys are laughing. I hope some of you guys are crying along with me. I'm bombing forts occupied by rebels, dude. That's how desperate I am. And I just lost to Kham Separatists as well. Didn't unoccupy fast enough. This is getting really frustrating. Maybe our goal as Chagatai should have been to form a tall Tibet or something. Huh? Maybe maybe that can be a, a goal for a next nation over here if any of these guys have unique ideas. Which apparently, uh, let's see. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Well, that's the last time we're playing in this region. Thank God. By the way, this is an independent army right here. And I am like a million over first limit. Yeah, I'm being 33 ducats a month, by the way, for that independent army. And to take out my frustrations... I'll be now declaring on Ming. All right, there we go. The armies are pretty much in place. Things will calm down after this, I think, because I have been working on humanist over here. Uh, I have gotten pretty far along and we've gotten the most important things, I think. Humanist is pretty stupid, in my opinion. I never really choose it. I would have gone with something different, but I'm just suffering so much from this uh, religious unity stuff and all the rebels and stuff. So yeah, so let's go and blow up Ming again. You know, this war is somehow more painful, even though they are weaker. Huh. All right, man, we got 69% war score here. I'm once again about to lose stuff to separatists, and I think it's about time to peace out Ming. So, you know, this time I'm just gonna take as much as I can from them, bro. Let's, uh, this is not that much. <laughs> this is not that much. Oh my god, someone save me, please. <laughs> they just warned me again. <laughs> I literally just demolished your country, and you're warning me. I can't with these guys. Hello, Ming. Do you realize who you're messing with here, man? This is an unhinged man on a mission to form the Mongol Empire by 1550, and it's 1532. Do you really think I'll do it? Of course not. So that's why no CBG. That's what you get for warning me, by the way. Now you're about to be done, man. Now you're about to be finito, all right? You know, funny how I didn't take a single port <laughs> in the previous war. I'm so stupid, dude. You know, I guess if you can't form the Mongol Empire by 1550 as Chagatai, all you gotta do is beat up Ming to take out your frustrations, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how it is, man. Man. That's just how it is. I'm bombing all these forts, man. I, you know what? I literally don't even care, man. I'll assault it with 8k manpower. I'll assault it here too. Shift consolidate. I'm too lazy for that. Who cares about manpower? Am I right? Boom, boom. There's two generals right here. Boom. There's a slacken right there. There we go, man. That's your manpower. And now the Ottomans too, man. Now the Ottomans too. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. What, what, what are you trying to achieve here? What are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to achieve? I'm asking you, Ottomans, answer me. Hello, Mehmed. <laughs> 
How do you like them apples? Oh my god, dude. What? What are you looking at? You know, this is the real way to play Chagatai, ladies and gentlemen. This is the real way right here. Oh, of course, in the midst of all this, we uh, are about to go bankrupt, and we're still dealing with millions of rebel stacks. I uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why Why are people so angry over here? What am I doing that, that creates so much rebel stacks? Is it all the cultures? Is it all the different nations I'm fighting? Is it the fact that I'm Sunni? Uh, this video is just an endless uh, spiral down, isn't it? And if it wasn't bad enough, I'm over 100% overextended. I got a feeling Chagatai is the worst nation in EU4. Or I'm just an idiot and don't know how to play them. <laughs> By the way, I've completely forgotten about the little uh, Ottoman war we have going over here, and I'm completely focusing on taking out my rebels because no, no, can't let anything like Korchin and Kham happen again. And we're bankrupt! We are bankrupt. Listen, don't pay attention to this over here, alright? We're completely fine in Beijing. And we just lost this to Kalka Separatists. Uh, excellent. You know, I wish we had like, I wish we had an easy game like something like the Ottomans, man, you know, by this point, 1539, look at them man 200k troops admin quantity exploration apparently these guys are living the dream man it sounds like something i would do in a to z instead of being this puny chagatai with 27,000 troops that went bankrupt lost three areas already to separatists and that's about to get uh, internal conflicts as well painful man painful but you know that's not what we're gonna do as the ottomans we're probably gonna like form the holy roman empire as them or something like that listen boys i think we gotta phase the music here man uh it became pretty obvious that we're not gonna form the long empire by 1550 and now it's just uh time to achieve stability and peace in the mighty nation of chagatai so let's uh let's just click on the ottomans here and on the french flag and confirm and uh let's see what they'll take from us and we're still waiting boom and they made me pop out yen or something like that i didn't really notice they did take land over here too actually or maybe they didn't. Yeah, actually, they did. And uh, let's continue achieving peace by accepting all of these guys' as demands right here. You know, really, this is the only way that we can have a nice and chill and uh, stable run, man. You know, we gotta shrink as much as possible. And it's time for Tal Chagatai. Actually, actually, this is some of the worst border war I've seen. I'm just kidding. That's not true. But it is pretty bad. Uh, we still have internal conflicts. Oh, it's about to fire? Perfect. Let's wait for it. There we go. 96, 97, a couple of more months. There we go. It's at 99 and 100. Dire times are ahead of us. Dire times are ahead of us. There we go. Well, not anymore, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, man, there you go. We started off as the nation of Chagatai, a horde nation located in this region right here with our vassal Yarkand. And of course, our goal for this campaign was to get the Khan achievement where we needed to form the Mongol Empire before the year 1600. And I even put another limit to that before the year 1550 because that's about how long these videos go for usually. And of course, as you guys can notice, we're nowhere close to that. What was the problem here what was the problem in this campaign you know like i said at the start i'm not really a horde enjoyer well i am a horde enjoyer but a horde can get massive really really quickly and i just hate managing territories that are so vast and armies take so long to go from one place to another you guys know i'm a tall little rp nation enjoyer that's why i don't like blobbing out this much i'm not a huge conquest fan i'm not a world conquest fan you guys already know but that's not the only problem man i did have fun with this campaign initially even though we had had some tough wars but the real problem was so much rebels dude i've never had this much rebels as in this campaign ever in eu4 i think the biggest problem was you know our culture over here it's pretty small compared to all these other cultures here we weren't an empire yet so we didn't have all of these accepted and of course the fact that we're sunni and we were mostly conquering other religions such as tangri and vajrayana and confucian and stuff that really hurt us too super super low religious unity super low dev province and yeah, man, I think those were just some of the problems that we faced as Chagatai. Of course, we did get pretty big, but in the end, uh, we blew up Ming and later we blew up ourselves because let's face it, I realized I wasn't going to complete this challenge on time. So I decided to make it funny. And I hope you guys had at least a couple of laughs through my suffering. But yeah, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad to say that this campaign as Chagatai in A to Z has been a failure. And that has been Chagatai in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.